Okay, Cindy. So, uh, my, uh, my Cindy and I are, are looking at all my videos and uh, things that I miss. She wants me to make sure that I tell the story. I, I briefly said uh, that uh, I had uh, gone to, uh, you know, I was uh, singing at that theater and everything. And during that time, I was a little popular. So uh, I got a, or my dad was told to bring me to a radio station in Laredo, Mexico, because they wanted me to sing, you know, on the radio. Um, and I didn't think anything of it, you know, it was, I was just going to sing in a different place instead of the theater. So my dad and my mom were very excited and all that. And my dad took me, of course, holding my little hand all the way. <laughs> he always held my hand every time I wasn't going with him anywhere. So we got to the radio station and um, at the theater though, uh, the accompaniment was uh, a, a band uh, with a piano and violins and trumpets. And you know, it was a really professional group. And uh, I, I thought that was gonna be the case uh, in, La in Laredo, Mexico. But when we walked into the studio, uh, I saw what they call mariachis. They only play uh, the guitar. And I thought, ooh, you know, uh, we have to sing, you know, the same octave and everything. So I was a little eerie about this. I was little, but I had sang enough times that I knew that something's going to happen here. So it was my turn to sing. And they go like, well, she already knows the song and we've heard her. She's a pro, you know, she can sing with the music and everything so uh, they the mic uh, the microphone was really high so they had to put a little chair and my dad had to pick me up and stand me on the chair so I would be high enough for the microphone and all that and uh, I was right the mariachis started singing I'm playing and I didn't know what to do so I I, there, there were a high, there were one octave higher than my actual voice. So I had to sing an octave higher because I knew better than they did. <laughs> and so uh, I sang the whole song, but I was very unhappy about it because I was straining myself. And when it was over, uh, my dad said, that was beautiful, that was wonderful, and everybody said all that stuff. And I said, Dad, the, the octave was too high. I was straining my voice. Couldn't you tell that that was... And he said, no, it sounded beautiful. I didn't notice, nobody noticed, and I go like, oof, you know. So uh, it, it was a nice experience uh, to actually sing on radio, but it was a bad experience that... I didn't have a chance to sing with them before, you know, they put me on live you know, on the radio. So that was my experience. <laughs> my Cindy, this is for you and you're sitting over there looking at me. Okay, so now there's another one that we forgot. Oh, all right. So Cindy, you wanted to know uh, why my sister and I have similar names, the older sister? Well... My older sister's name is Herlinda, H-E-R-L-I-N-D-A. So uh, I keep saying she's seven years older than me. So then when I had my mom, uh, my parents had me, I suppose they hadn't thought of a name or something because I'm the only one that has the same name, almost the same as my older sister. They just inserted an M-E instead of H E R. L-I-N-D-A, they do H-E-R-M-M-E-L-I-N-D-A. So um, there was a problem that people called her Linda, and a lot, and all my friends called me Linda. So if we were together, we were two Lindas. It was just confusing throughout our life because she liked the name Linda, and since she's, she was older than me, my mom called me Melinda. My dad called me Belinda. <laughs> I was. Everybody had all these different kinds of names for me, and I, I always, I was always sad, to think that. Oh, my dad said that it was my mother's fault, that uh, that they were all wrong. He said I told her I love the name Linda, 
but I wanted you to be Belinda. You know, he like B E L I N D A, Belinda. He same Linda, but with a, and it would have sounded different. And then they would have called her Linda and me Belinda. <laughs> Uh, but then uh, later on, when I was uh, in high school or college, I don't remember, I think my sister lost her Social Security, and she went and got one. Uh, an, an, uh, she went to get her Social Security. But she didn't, uh, she had memorized her number, I suppose. That's the only reason why I think she didn't notice. We were on the phone, and for some reason I said to her, Maybe I saw a piece of paper or something with her name and my social security number. So then I said to her, I called her. She was married already and everything. And I said, Linda, uh, what is your social security number? And she said, well, uh, I got it, you know, before I lost mine. And they gave me a new social security number in our conversation. Before I married Richard and it's... Uh, Blah, 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 blah. And I go, that's my social security number. You're using my social security number. And she said, no. And I, and I go, yes, that's my number. So um, she, she, she said she was going to check it out and all that. So I suppose she did because uh, she never said anything. And I looked at my social security information from the beginning of time. You know, how uh, they give you those reports if you request them, and uh, everything is fine. All my jobs that I've had and everything are on there. But uh, that was a problem. And then uh, uh, myself, and then uh, my other sister's name is uh, Elvira, and then uh, my other sister is uh, Gloria Alma, and my baby sister is Olga Beatriz. So they all got their own beautiful names except me. <laughs> I'm the only one with no name. <laughs> Just my sister's name. I don't know what was the problem, but uh, my but my dad said that it wasn't. Uh, he said I I knew what I was going to call you, but I walked out of the room. I wasn't there when they were filling out all the information, and your mother couldn't think of it, so she just, uh, because I had a cousin named her Melinda, she thought, uh, I think I think he wants to call her, her Melinda, and it was, even, it was even spelled wrong, but uh, that's the story of that, so um, is that it, Cindy? Okay, see you later. <laughs>